Good evening and welcome to the Cultivating Your It Factor Experience. My name is Debreta D. Sally and I am one of the co-authors in the Cultivating Your It Factor book collaboration. Um, my uh, chapter in the book is about your authentic identity and how um, in order to be successfully successful, sorry, in branding your business or even fulfilling your life purpose, you must first identify what your authentic identity is. And what your authentic identity means is who you are and what unique purpose did God call you to serve in the earth. Um, You see, when we are children, we tend to develop ideas and dreams of what we want to be when we grow up. Then once life has its toll on our childhood innocence and zeal, we end up burnt out and run down by the responsibilities of life. It's easy for us to settle into a daily routine and suppress our true dreams and desires. Doing this causes one to assume a false identity and negates who we truly are at the core. Um, What I found is that you must develop an intimate relationship with your manufacturer, um, who I um, call God so that you can be sure and very sure that what you are seeking to accomplish is not just your desire, but God-directed and inspired. You see, he holds the blueprint, and we must know who God says we are and what our identity is in him. Um, He says that we are a royal priesthood, we are a chosen generation, that we are the head and not the tail, and that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And besides, no one knows us more intimately than the Lord. Um, um, What I found is that a lot of times we are tempted to act out who others perceive us to be and show up as something we really aren't in order to fit in. But God made us each unique and wants us to stand out, even if we have to stand alone. You see, we turn up in front of others when it is our authentic nature to be meek and mild, and then we turn down when it's time to speak up so that we don't rock the boat. We end up dimming our light so that others are not blinded by our shine. Our individual gifts, both natural and spiritual, and our personalities all play a role in what our true identity is. We must accept ourselves completely, our weaknesses, our strengths, and most of all, what causes us to stand out. God does so, why can't we? When you do this, you are telling the world, world, this is who I am, this is how God made me, and I am cool with that. It forces the world to respect you, as you are, instead of making you into what they want you to be. When we don't establish what our true, authentic identity is, we risk the failure to carry out our true assignment. I want to share a little bit about my story and my experience with um, identifying my true identity. I spent many years circling about what was really my true identity, the thing that God wanted me to do because I had no idea who I was as an individual or who I was in him. It was not until I began to pull back all the layers and ask God to show me what he desired. I asked him to show me me and what he desired me to uh, the real me began to unfold as a result. And guess what? I'm still unfolding. You see, uncovering your true Authentic identity isn't a one-time occurrence. It's a lifelong process. But the key in getting to that is understanding that, you know, you may have strengths, you may have weaknesses, you may have things that you perceive as flaws, but all those things work together to form you into the person that God has destined you to be. But when we try to be something Um, outside of that true identity, we run into frustrations, we run into getting burned out, and we run into many brick walls, and we don't clearly, we aren't able to clearly establish ourselves and be successful in branding ourselves. That plays a role in business, and that also plays a role in life. So that's 
that's the gist of my chapter um, that I share, that I have been blessed to share along with the other ladies in the Cultivating Your It Factor book. Um, I'm thankful for that opportunity and what I desire from whoever reads that chapter is that they understand how very important it is to I did to seek God, um, to get introspectful and understand what truly makes them tick, what their passions are, um, what their personality is, you know, are they introverted, are they extroverted, um, what makes them tick, and um, really what God has called them to be in the earth so that when they do open that business, when they do start their family, when they do seek out that employment, they are aligning themselves with something that's not going to burn them out. It's not going to take away from their true identity, but it's going to expand who they are as a person. So um, that's the gist of what I wanted to share. I like to um, if you like to ask a question um, or make a comment, please press star six on your phone, and I will be happy to um, to answer your questions or um, receive your comments. Again, you can press star six on your phone. Okay, if there aren't any questions, um, that's going to be the end of what I'm going to share tonight. But I just, um, in closing out, wanted to say that um, the other women in this book are sharing, also sharing powerful stories of the uh, things that are needed in order to establish your brand. And um, I think that every person who is seeking to walk out in purpose, open a business, be successful in planning out their life objectives, that this book is um, a great tool that you should add to your library. So thank you for joining us, and have a blessed night.